Hey everybody, it's me, Kendall, your teen services librarian. I'm doing Crafternoons today in a little bit different spot than normal. I'm up in the Howard room and behind me you can see some of the beautiful paintings that we have on display right now, which I just love. So I thought that might be kind of fun to add to our Crafternoons, see some other art that other people have done in the background. But anyway, Welcome to Crafternoons. We are going to be making pom-pom caterpillars today. You should have everything you need except for glue and scissors in your craft kit. Everyone should have one slightly, probably like a medium-sized pom-pom, I would say, and then 10 little tiny ones. I wanted to make sure everybody had plenty in there. You should have one piece of this foam type paper that we'll be using to make leaves. You should have two tiny googly eyes. They're really small, so they might be kind of hard to find in the envelope that I packed them up in, but they should be in there. Uh, besides that, you'll want some tacky glue. Uh, you could use hot glue if you have the help of a parent. Um, this is really great because it will dry clear. You don't have to worry about it being hot. You'll need a pair of scissors because we're going to cut out a shape of a leaf. Um, and I find it helpful to have a pencil so I can make a light outline and then some sort of marker so I can kind of decorate the leaf a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to make the shape of a leaf on this foam. If you kind of want to do it lightly because I've noticed that this material kind of likes to dent easily. So just do it carefully if you're going to draw it out first. And you can make this any leaf that you want. I'm making mine more of a rounded shaped leaf. The first one that I made for practice um, had what looks like a bite taken out of it. So you can do that too. It looks really cute. This time I'm making a slightly smaller leaf and I'm not going to have a bite taken out of it. <laughs> just a regular leaf that looks like it just came off the tree. So once you have your leaf drawn, I don't think you'll be able to see mine from that far, but once it's drawn on there, then you can cut it out. Just make sure you're really careful with your scissors. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So just gonna cut out the shape of our leaves. These will make a great home for our cute little caterpillars. This makes me think a lot of the Very Hungry Caterpillar, which is one of my favorite stories. It's, I just think it's so cute. Whoop. Almost done with my leaf. one leaf. So once we have our leaves assembled, now we can start putting our caterpillars together. We're just going to lay this flat on the table and then with whatever pom-poms you have, you'll start to build your caterpillar. I have to pick out some colors here because I haven't done that yet. The last one I made was white and pink, which I thought was really cute. Let's see what I have for colors left this time. I think I'm going to do some yellow. It's hard finding pom-poms in this giant bag. <laughs> I probably should have picked them out ahead of time, but I wasn't really thinking about that. <laughs> so I actually have decided I'm going to use this purple one. I have a little tiny purple one for the head, and then I'm just going to pick out some smaller ones for the body should only take me a minute or so. 
and maybe while I'm picking out mine, you guys can kind of start organizing how you might want to make your pom-poms uh, look in the shape of a caterpillar. I know I gave you all a bunch of different colors, so you have tons of options. So I think I'm getting there. Just gonna grab a few more so I can make a nicely sized caterpillar. Okay, I've got all my pom-poms. So now that we have our pom-poms out, I think the best way to start is to glue our eyes on our bigger pom-pom. The big pom-pom is gonna be the head of our caterpillar. So I'm gonna get out a couple of wiggly eyes here. And my glue. And I'm just gonna take one of my little googly eyes. I know they're so tiny, so it's kind of hard, but we're just gonna put a little bit, tiny bit of glue on the back, if I can get my glue to come out. <laughs> I haven't used it in a bit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I've got a little bit of glue on that eye. And if it goes a little bit over the sides, that's okay because this glue will dry clear. So you don't have to worry about it too much. I am going to, whoops, gonna put one eye on. Then I'm gonna get my other googly eye and put that one on. Ah! Uh-oh, I'm making a mess with this one, guys. I think I'm gonna need a different eye. <laughs> I accidentally covered the whole thing in glue. <laughs> Whoops. Accidents happen, it's okay. Just scrape some of the glue off my fingers <laughs> and stick that eye on. So now we should have two eyes on our caterpillar heads. I know they're so tiny, so it's really hard to see. <laughs> but once you have your eyes on your caterpillar, on your caterpillar head, you'll just set that down for a moment. I'm gonna wipe the glue off of my fingers so I make slightly less of a mess when I do the rest of this and what I did last time was I made a little line of the shape that I wanted to be my caterpillar to be in so you can either make everything in a straight line or you can make him kind of wiggly my first one I made a little wiggly so I drew like an s on my leaf and then after I drew that I drew some lines to on my leaf so you know it would look more like a real leaf outside. So I'm gonna do that now. Let's draw some little lines here. So there's my leaf with the lines. And then, like I said, if you just wanted to do it in pencil, marker, whatever, you could do um, the shape that you want your caterpillar to be in. And then you'll have a guideline for gluing the pom-poms onto the leaf, because that's what we're going to be doing next. So this time, I'm going to have my caterpillar kind of curl around a little bit. So first things first, we're going to take our caterpillar head. We're going to put a little bit of glue on where we want the bottom of of the bottom part of our pom-pom. If I can ever get this glue to come out. <laughs> I'm not having good luck with this glue today, you guys. Okay. You don't need a ton, just a little dot, enough to stick it onto the leaf. 
And once you have that glue on, you can pick a place to stick it. And just kind of push your pom-pom down. It's okay to really like squish it because it's gonna poof back up. So once you've kind of squished that down into place and where you think you want it, um, you're gonna wanna try and leave it alone as best you can because this glue does take a little bit of time to dry. Um, and I found with this foamy stuff that we're sticking it to, it takes a bit longer than normal and it will slide around if you try and touch them. So once you glue it into place, you're just gonna wanna leave it alone for a while. And then we're just gonna keep going with the rest of our pom-poms. You can put them in any order you want. It doesn't have to be in a specific way. And like I said, you'll just squish those pom-poms down once you put the glue on the bottom part. You might have to do it a few times because I found that because the pom-poms like to poof back up so much, sometimes they don't stick right away. So we're just gonna keep going, keep sticking our pom-poms down. And you want to put them so they're like right up next to each other. Let's see if I can show you with mine. So there's not really much gapping in between because that way it looks like the body of a caterpillar. So I've got some purple, some green, some blue. My caterpillar is all kinds of different colors. Or is going to be, I sense I'm still putting them together. <laughs> I think I've decided I'm going to do mine in a little like horseshoe shape almost. And you might find that you'll have to, when you start pushing, putting the other pom-poms on next to the previous ones that you might have to like kind of move things into place a little bit again. And that's okay. It will all dry. I promise. It just takes a little time. And you can use as many or as few pom-poms as you want to make your caterpillars. It's all up to you. Using our imagination is like the best thing we can do. Okay, I'm almost done with mine. I'm on my last pom-pom. I think I might have to add a little more glue to some of them because I accidentally dislodged a few. <laughs> Whoops, but that's okay. Easy fix. Okay. There is my last pom-pom. And there is my caterpillar. It's kind of hard to see. I'm really far away on these tables. I didn't think to really move them around first, but maybe that would have been a wise choice. But there he is, my little caterpillar. So if you guys are still gluing down pom-poms, that's great, take your time. After this, there's really nothing left to do except for let it dry. Um, you'll probably want to leave it for about 15 minutes or so to make sure the glue is really completely dry um, before you play with it or put it somewhere or move it around a whole lot. And, but once that glue dries, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I really hope you guys like this craft. I just thought it was so cute. I couldn't resist doing it for this month's craft. If you 
want to send pictures of your caterpillars that you make, I would love to see them. I bet they're all gonna be adorable and I can't wait. You can email pictures to me at k-e-n-d-a-l-l dot c-h-a-p-m-a-n at b-h-p-l dot net. That's kendall.chapman at bhpl.net. Um, I would love to see the pictures, like I said. I'm in the midst of planning our craft or noon for next month, so I hope I get to see you there too. Have fun with your caterpillars, and I'll see you next time. Bye.